Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to install Exposed on the Galaxy S6. Now before we get started, there are a couple of requirements that you absolutely have to meet. First and foremost, if you have an AT&T or Verizon variant of this phone, Galaxy S6, S6 Edge, etc., it's probably not going to work. I mean, there's just no root solutions out right now. That's just how it is with AT&T and Verizon. Probably knew that when you made the choice. But the second requirement is just as big, actually. You have to be running some sort of a ROM that is deodexed. Deodexed meaning there's no ODEX files in the ROM. Now, the stock ROM for Galaxy devices is full of ODEX files, so that won't work. Uh, basically, you could try to deodex a stock ROM, which I haven't had any luck with, or easiest way, just install a custom ROM. This one I'm running right here is called Extra Stolite. I'm really not sure how to pronounce that, but uh, you can see that right there in the build number. And it's actually available for most variants of the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge. So it's an option right there if you want to install a custom ROM. Now the next requirement is that you have some way to flash zips. That can either be Flash Fire or TWRP. But if you had a custom ROM installed already, chances are you already have one of those two installed anyway. So with all that stuff out of the way, the next thing to do is actually to grab a couple of files. Um, first one is the Exposed Installer app. That'll help you download Exposed modules. Second one is the Exposed Framework itself. That's the important one right there. That's actually created by Wanum, who's a big time Samsung developer. He's always done great work. And he um, made it work with the Galaxy S6, so big thanks to him, right? Okay, so once you have the framework file and the APK both downloaded, which, by the way, they're linked out at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks, the next thing you're going to need to do is to boot into Custom Recovery or open up your Flash Fire app. I'll be using Custom Recovery to demonstrate uh, TWRP works, CWM, whichever one you want to use. Give me a second, and I'll boot into that and be right back with you. All right, so once you made it into Custom Recovery, basically you just want to go hit the Install button and navigate to your device's Download folder. And that's probably where you'll find the exposed framework installer zip so go ahead and select that and swipe slider at the bottom of the screen it shouldn't take very long to install and when it's done just hit reboot system but the thing to note here is that this next boot is going to take a long time i'm talking like five minutes ten minutes even it's got to rebuild the entire art libraries for your device but don't worry about that it's just going to take a while give it give it the necessary time basically and i'll get back with you as soon as it's done with that all right, so once you finish booting back up, you now have the exposed framework installed, but you still need the exposed installer app to download and install modules, basically. Uh, that's that second file that you downloaded at the beginning. So basically just go ahead and tap the download complete notification for that file, hit install, and then when that's finished, just go ahead and press open. Uh, this is the standard exposed interface if you're familiar with exposed you should already be right at home but just to go ahead and check that everything's working right hit up the framework section dismiss this and then look up top it'll tell you the exposed version number and uh, the framework version number then just head to the download section start finding new modules pick pick a new one swipe over hit download and you're off and running so I hope this helped you out and as always we'd appreciate it if you would like comment and subscribe but we'll see you again next time, folks, and until then, happy gadget hacking.